With the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 6S Plus, you can use 3D Touch to see previews, find useful shortcuts, and more. The new feature detects how hard you are pressing on the display to enable additional functionality. For example, in Mail, press a message in the mailbox list for a peek at the message contents, then slide up to see a list of actions, or press a little deeper to pop the message open. In Photos, press to peek at an image, then swipe up to share or copy it, or press a little deeper to pop the image to full screen. In some cases, you can press an item to get a quick actions menu. You can, for example, press the camera icon on the home screen, then choose Take Photo, or press a name in Messages, then choose to create an email message, make a voice or video call, or send a message. 3D Touch also lets you vary the pressure when you draw to change the quality of your lines in some apps. For example, press as you draw in notes to make a line darker. You can even use 3D Touch to turn your keyboard into a trackpad and select text when typing. Among other things, you can use 3D Touch to get information about a location, directions, a phone number, and more by pressing a pin in Maps. View the contents of a playlist in Music. Preview a web page by pressing a Safari link within Safari or from an email message. Preview a specific note's content within a list. Preview a video from a thumbnail. Make a live photo come to life. Access your default card, relevant pass, or last transaction by pressing Wallet on the home screen. Get more information about movies, TV shows, and music videos in the Videos app. Learn how far you've read in a book in iBooks. Call, send a message to, or email a contact by pressing his or her phone number. View a location in Maps by pressing an address. See a list of recommended games by pressing Games in Game Center. And... Access the multitasking switch from the left side of your display. Please see the text version of this tutorial for more details, and remember to follow or subscribe to iClarified for more Apple news, videos, and tutorials.